Hi there, welcome to GlockOps. Today I'll show you how to get started with automatic tests. With GlockOps Inbox Insight automatic testing tool, you can automate email deliverability testing and see how your inbox rate and spam rate change over time. This is an ideal tool to keep track of your recurring campaigns and transactional emails. An automatic test will resend the same message to the seed list at a chosen interval and provide you with a deliverability report. In addition to that, our tool can send alerts to you via email, Slack, or Telegram when an automatic test detects spam placements with any of the chosen seed email addresses. To set up an automatic test, go to Inbox Insight and click on Automatic Tests. Then click Create Automatic Tests. To set up an automatic test, you must first set up a sending account that will be used for that test. So click on Add Sending Account and start completing the form. First, enter an account name. This is for internal use only, so pick any name you want. Then enter your from name and your from email address. We recommend using your real from name and email address that you used to send your real email campaigns from then enter the SMTP server name. If you're using an email service provider, you can check your email service provider's documentation for SMTP settings. If you're sending emails using your own SMTP server, ask your server administrator about the correct SMTP server name. If you're using the Gmail or Google Workspace SMTP server, you can find the SMTP settings in the Google documentation. For a Gmail account, you can use smtp.gmail.com as the SMTP server name. You can use port 587 and the security protocol start TLS. For your convenience, I've shared this information in the video description below. The SMTP username is typically your full email address and the SMTP password is typically your regular password from your email address. Google may not allow you to connect to the server using your regular password though. If this happens, you'll see a failed authentication message. In such case, go to your Gmail account and set up an app password for your account. Then use that app password in your GlockUp settings for the sending account. In the Custom Headers area, you can check the Keep Custom Headers option to allow GlockUps to preserve your custom headers when it resends the message to our seed list. If you don't choose any custom headers, you can leave this option disabled. If you want to add custom headers, enter the header's name and value in the provided fields. To add a new line, you can use the Tab key on the keyboard. Now we must select the service providers. You can select all available providers or you can uncheck the unwanted email service providers and customize your seed list. Once you're finished, click on Create Sending Account at the bottom of the page. Now let's create the automatic test. On the first step, Make sure you select the right sending account, the one that you just created. On the next step, copy the proxy email address that the system has generated for you. Now open your email client or open your email service provider on a new browser window. Open the message that you want to test and paste the proxy email address on the to field. Send the message. You can use any email client and send from any email address in any domain that you want. Once the system finishes processing your message, you will be brought to the next step. Here, you can adjust the settings for the automatic test moving forward. You can do things like changing your sending account. You can also select the monitor time interval to trigger the automatic tests. The minimum interval is three hours. 
the maximum interval, it's seven days. You can also change the time interval for alerts here. The default interval is 50 minutes, but you can increase this interval if your email service provider or SMTP server doesn't send the emails immediately. This is because some providers place your emails in a queue and sends them with a delay. If you want to receive alerts when your email goes to spam, check the Send Me Alert on Deliver Issues option. And again, remember you can customize your seed list for this automatic test. You can uncheck unwanted email addresses and leave only the ones that you want to test your message with. Once you're finished, click on Save and Activate at the bottom of the page. Your new automatic test will be triggered immediately. You only have to wait a few seconds to get your first report. Once your score starts to populate, click on the message subject line to see the full report. As you can see, the report is now loading in real time. The automatic test report provides the same data as your regular Inbox Insight spam test reports. In addition, you will be able to monitor your 30-day test history to understand how your inbox rate and spam score have changed over time. Now that the report has finished loading, you can access the Content Analysis tab and the Action Steps tab for insights into how to improve your score. You can also click on the icons at the top of the report. This will allow you to get your seed lists, view the message content, or to share the report with others. Now I'll go back to the automatic tests list. If you click on this dotted icon to the right of the test, you have the options to edit the test, delete the test, or simply deactivate it. In your Inbox Insight account, you can set up as many automatic tests as your subscription plan allows. You can delete existing tests and set up new ones, as long as you stay within your account limits. And that's all I have for today. Thank you for using GlockApps. For more information about automatic tests and the GlockApps suite of email deliverability tools, please visit GlockApps.com.